so I just harvested some spinach yesterday still got a lot left these are mini spinaches see that's a good size right there got a bunch over here bunch over here yeah I need to cut these soon problem is they only last 14 days in the fridge but I can make some we're gonna make a pizza today and I'll uh I can make a salad or something out of these but yeah they need to be cut so let's go see how we make the pizza We got some oil in there. Then we're gonna add the spinach. Ah, we're gonna add. Then we're gonna add some onions. Saute that, and then we're gonna add the spinach. Yeah, that'd be better than garlic. No, we harvest we harvest again. Very good. Huh? Yeah, I probably need to too. Don't say long. Yeah. I think it'll cook down. You think? One to two minutes down. Huh? One to two minutes. So we're grating up the cheese. We have mozzarella and what's the other one for to go? Mm, that's mozzarella. What's this one? Monterey Jack. Okay. Yeah, that's probably enough tea. So first we put the cheese. What cheese do you want to put it first? Either one. Then we put the spinach and mushrooms. Then we put the other cheese on top. Then we bake in the oven until it's golden brown. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's good. That's gonna be delicious. All right, we'll have to microwave. We might not tea. It might be okay. Mm. Yeah, not too much hard now. Mm. And we we'll put the spinach. Mm. That's gonna be so good. Oh, uh, we might need. To Oh, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> then we're gonna put some dried mushrooms on top, cover it with cheese, and bake it. Yeah, that's good. T tea. Oh, we have to bake here. Why can't we use the other oven? We don't know how. Uh, I don't know how. Oh, that's good. 
Yeah, I think these are okay now. Especially you put it in the oven. Now we can camp it and put it in the refrigerator. Okay. Yeah. 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 Dried mushrooms. Ah, those look good. Oh, yes. Then more cheese on the top, and we'll be ready to go. Yes. Okay, we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees until it's golden brown. And uh Alright, it's getting there. It's been about 10 minutes on 150. So we'll see how much longer. But it's looking good and that smells good. Okay, that's been about 30 minutes. We're gonna take it out. I eat that mama ya. That means in English, okay, I eat that later. He cut it in squares. Not not like that squared one. Man. I like my pizza in squares. Man. Oh, very good. I know that pot, that pan's hot, huh? Pan. Okay, rotate more. Mm. Mm. Yeah, then the sides. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Thank you for cooking that. I love my wife so much. She's the best in the world. Not in the world, in the universe. Crunchy. Yeah, that's crunchy. That's good. Alright. I don't like my pizza hot. I like it a little bit cold. So, we're going to let this cool down. And I'm going to eat it. I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. If it's not good, I'm going to be honest. But if it's good, I'm going to be honest too. Oh, one more there, T. Doing, doing. Yeah, there you go. That's hard to cut. It's okay, I can do that, my man. Done. So when it's cooled down, I'm going to put some more powdered mozzarella cheese on top. And I'm gonna put some hot pepper flakes. And that thing ought to be delicious. They go in the middle there. Yeah, that's good. I want you to taste it, T. Okay? Huh? Yeah, you taste it. Alright, let's let it cool down and put some toppings on it, and we'll see what happens. So here it is, the finished product. So let's take a taste and see what it's like. That may be some of the best pizza I've ever put in my mouth, and it's healthy. We made it on a really thin crust, so it's not too much carbs. And then you got the spinach, mushroom, and cheese. It's really, really good. You should try this. So thanks for watching, keep looking up, and I'll see you next time.